Hey everyone, welcome back to Kianda the Smart Home. I'm Ali Reza and in this video I have another exciting project to share with you. We are going to learn how to create a smart switch using the PI and ESP32 development board without any programming knowledge or experiences with a very low budget. With this setup, we'll be able to control your appliances remotely and enjoy the convenience of a smart home. Before diving into the details, let's talk about what a smart switch is and why it is so useful. A smart switch allows you to control your lights, fans or any other appliances from a smartphone or a central hub. It saves energy, enhances security and adds a whole new level of convenience to your daily life. What is Eslo PI? Eslo PI is an open source IoT development platform. With Eslo PI, you can turn ESP32 boards into a smart boards with full cloud and mobile app compatibilities, and it's free. Creating a smart devices with Eslo PI is the simplest thing I have ever seen. You will yourself find out soon. Let's get started. Here is the components we need for this project. An ESP32 development board, a breadboard. We need physical buttons. I use this keypad, relay module, a USB cable, and some jumper wires. Before starting to program our ESP32, it's better to erase all data in it. To do so, connect it to your operating system using USB cable, navigate to this web page, espressive.github.io slash ESP tool hyphen JS. You can find its link in description. Click connect, select the port, click connect, connection is established, click erase flash, wait till erasing finishes, chip erase completed successfully, click disconnect, then navigate to config.slopi.com to this web page. You must have an account. If you don't, by clicking create your free account, you can easily create an account by filling email address, username and a password. After creating a Zlopi account or let's say Neos account, log into it. My ESP32 is connected to my operating system. Click connect device, select the port, click connect. It's getting device info. Choose create new device ID, enter Wi-Fi SSID, enter Wi-Fi password, the Wi-Fi you want to connect your ESP32 to it. Chip type is ESP32. Choose digital output, set a name for it. Device subtype is relay, enable button, output GPIO, I choose GPIO 23 for it. Input GPIO, I choose GPIO 27. Then click Apply. Let's add more smart switches. One more time, I click Digital Output. Set a name for it.
device subtype is relay i enable button output gpio i select gpio 22 of my development board input gpio i select gpio 26 of my development board. click apply you can add as many as smart switches you want let's do it one more time i click digital output in device configuration section set a name for it select relay as device subtype enable button because we want to control it manually output gpio i select gpio 21st of my development board 21 and input gpio i select gpio 25 of my development board apply esp32 is ready to be flashed from the left menu click flash device here we have a popped up window please press boot button while flashing begins i press the boot button of the esp32 and keep it hold in installation prepared please release the boot button now i release Flashing is in progress. Wait till it finishes. Device flash successful. Now it's wiring time. Connecting components of our project is easy. I connected this relay module to a smart switch one. So GPIO 23 of my development board must be connected to input of this relay module, the orange wire. This relay module needs power, so connect the DC minus to ground of development board, the black wire, and connect the DC plus to pin 3 volt DC of development board, red wire. For better understanding and prevent lots of wirings, I only use one relay module. For other smart switches, a smart switch 2 and a smart switch 3, I used these two LEDs. This LED presents a smart switch 2. It is connected to GPIO 22 of my development board. And the green LED presents a smart switch 3 and it's connected to GPIO 21 of development board. Connecting physical button, I use this keypad. Connected ground terminal of keypad to ground pin of development board. Connected the first pin of this module, which is related to button 1 to pin 27 of development board, the yellow wire. Connected the second pin, pin related to button 2 to GPIO 26 of development board. Also connected GPIO 25 to K3. After programming your ESP32, adding more smart switches or let's say creating more smart switches is easy. Connect your development board to your operating system using USB cable, navigate to config.slopi.com Click connect device. Select the port, click connect. It's getting device info. This time we have SLOPI device ID. Our ESP32 has the SLOPI ID. So keep existing device ID is selected. This is the ID of my development board. Now I select digital output in device configuration section, set a name for it, device subtype is relay, 
I select GPIO 19 as output GPIO, enable button and select GPIO 33 as its input. Click apply. After adding more switches on the left menu, click flash device. Here we have a warning. We have to enter the password of our Wi-Fi network. After entering Wi-Fi password, click flash device. Please press put button while flashing begins. In installation prepare, please release the button, the boot button now. Flashing in progress, wait till it finishes. Device flashed successfully. With everything set up, it's time to test our smart switch. I'll test both physical buttons and SLOPI platform. In order to control smart switches, you can use these buttons also you can use Mirus app to control them using your smartphone or navigate to eslogic.mirus.com enter credential of your account then log into your account using Muse app or islogic.muse.com You see we have four created smart switches using Muse app you can control them we have their feedback on both islogic.muse.com and Muse app using each of them you can control your smart switches. Another app that you can use is Vero Mobile. Enter credentials of your Muse account, then log. Here we have list of our controllers, connect. And using Vero Mobile, you can control your created smart switches. That's it for today's video on creating a smart switch with SLO PI and ESP32. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and inspiring. Imagine the possibilities of controlling your home appliances remotely with just a tap on your smartphone. It's truly amazing. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more exciting projects like this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care and stay creative.